Welcome back to the EOS. I have just seen Bura Kilic take the second from top heat in round three of two-wheel drive qualifying with his Mugen. The new car going very well, big smiles all around. And I can tell you that's Mikhail Orlovsky who has taken round one and round two. We thought there was going to be a challenge from David Ronnefalk in uh, the previous heat, but some mistakes from David. Big crowd out to watch the top seeded heat. Now, point of order is to thank our sponsors as we check out David Ongaro's associated B7. Big thank you to Schumacher, to Rude bits to Model Tune and to FF Racing. Couldn't be here without them. And I encourage you to uh, check out their shops. They all have exceptional ranges of the highest quality equipment. Schumacher, of course, the choice of Nick Rulowski, who is going to start this heat from the number one spot so they're just going to pull up the start this is the top heat heat 26 of round number three and of course you are following the coverage of the euro fred series season 11 round two from right, so dawn in germany here is orlovsky Two, eleven, nine, ten, four, and five. Five. Right, we are set to go, guys. Here, this is race number twenty-six. Car number one. Now, three. Seven, Zalowski has eight, two wins and sits on six, provisional pole, two, but somebody else could nine, snatch it away ten, if they were to win four, this round five. and the next, and go quicker than a. 13402.3. Stu Freighters will think that was a misquote, 402, but not in this case. These are four minute races. I can hear the protests coming down the internet, but it was decided that four rounds of four minute qualifying was much better value for the racer than three rounds of five minute qualifying to sort of the way it would have worked out. So, a lot of people here, a lot of customers, a lot of people that want to do their racing. And to be honest, I haven't heard anyone really complain about the four minute races yet. So there's a minute down. Orlovsky so far looking really good. So, where is Mikhailovsky's advantage to be able to light up the first two rounds of qualifying? And I would say it's in the back end of that Schumacher. I've heard before that Orlovsky likes the car to do a lot of its steering around the neutral point. And he rarely goes out to full travel. And I think that is a setup that you have to sort of learn how to drive. I don't think it's the natural instinct of most racers. Most racers want the steering to be very progressive and to be able to use the full turn of the wheel or the full deflection of the stick if you're a stick racer. And that is not the case with Mikhail Orlovsky. He, I don't know precisely, but I would say he probably only uses maximum of an eighth of the turn in each direction. So the rear end of his car is set up to react to those low steering inputs so the car seems to roll quite easily uh, and because of that it seems to steer from the rear a bit and uh, change direction quite quickly when you need it. I think if you were 
you know, a reason racer and you took the setup, I think you would find it quite strange to drive. But Aronofsky has developed this style himself and well, doesn't he make it work? I can tell you in full scale mode, sporters have a bit of experience in. You're always looking for the setup that requires the least amount of steering. So you certainly don't want the back end to be loose, I'm not saying that, but you want the car to do its steering quite quickly around the neutral and then get it straight up, straight up quickly and point it in the direction of the next corner and off. You don't want to be feeding the wheel around the whole time. Now, Mick Olovsky is not leading this heat. It is Elias Johansson. Let me try and find Elias. There goes Tommy Hall and Kerrup. Let's try and find him. Try and spot him now. These cars are moving so quickly that I cannot spot Elias Johansson. Really this car is green. But anyway, that doesn't matter because it is Orlovsky who has taken up the lead and he has finished his run on a 13.41.89. Couple cars still alive. Waiting for your enjoyment. No, I'll have to get out of the way. The drivers are coming down. So I can tell you, Orlowski on a 14.401.875. Hatton in second, 14.404. Alexander Landon on a 4.7. And Angaro on a 4.05. So, Orlowski, three out of four. That means TQ is his. Uh, and also, great run for this man here. Fiona Hattonen, happy. And Ongaro, happy. Happy faces. And <laughs> here's a very happy man. Here's a very happy man indeed. His Mugen going well. Here at Killich. Look, there you have it. Thank you for watching. We might come back with a video of... Uh, video of round four yeah, it's sewn up now Orlowski will start from pole Orlowski will start from pole we'll have to see who's second so we'll have to get up the scores and have a look uh, but I can tell you if Yona Hattonen has uh, put in a second he'll want another second and he'll want to be starting off the A mains off the front of the grid okay look thanks for watching much appreciated please hit hit like and subscribe if you like this sort of thing and keep going get a bit of enthusiasm uh, and of course your comments will be answered as best I can and uh, just a reminder it's uh, Schumacher Root Bits Model Tune and FF Racing so just all I ask is that you support the people who support us it makes a huge difference you know they stick 50 quid in my pocket and it helps uh, pay for the flight I can tell you that right that's round three over talk to you soon